Hello YouTube, Tim here. I've got a little experiment. I have no idea what's going to happen, but I'm very interested in seeing what will, uh, and I'll explain why when we're done. This is the short of it. Rather, this is a shortened section of fiberglass rod. You know, they are very rigid. Unfortunately, they're not tapered, so but you could taper them, but that would produce a huge amount of very, very nasty silicon powder and dust and epoxy and all this bad stuff that's just terrible for you, even worse than PVC dust. So, they're useful, but to get a nice taper, you have to use multiple sections, sort of as a, a bundle bow, to stuff inside another. Let's go ahead and do a little experiment where I want to see if we heat it, if this softens to the point where I can bend it, and if it'll retain that bend. I have no idea what's going to happen. But I'd really be interested in finding out, because if we can bend it, we have a few other interesting possibilities. And we'll get to that later, but for now, let's just try. My understanding is that these are fiberglass rods uh, in an epoxy resin. They're, they're an epoxy. In that case, it seems to me like it's more likely just to thermally decompose than to do anything like bend really easily, but we'll see. My fingers are crossed. The glass itself should be completely unharmed. One good thing, since this is rigid plastic, there probably aren't very many plasticizers in it. Typically flexible plastics, like PVC, will have plasticizers. And the more flexible, the more plasticizer, usually. So, at least we shouldn't be releasing huge amounts of you know, phthalates and other nasty, nasty things. I don't know when I've heated it enough, but I guess I should just try and bend it in a second or two. I just cranked the heat, so now we're at maximum. I'm trying to heat a fairly large area, so that even if the bend is small, you should see something. And it doesn't need to be a huge bend. If you can put just a degree or two, a few degrees, or, you know, a fairly large radius bend into this rod. That'll help. The thing is, most of the strength of the fiberglass is from the glass fiber. Go figure, right? So, since that's not really going to soften, even with heat, 
it's probably still going to be very resilient. It might end up breaking well before it bends, but it's always worth it a shot. Oh, okay, so it gave really easily. So I think that answers our question. The epoxy resin gives. It does not in any way, shape, or form bend. So, unfortunately, we're left with fewer options. If we want to then, okay, my, my plans were if I could use this to reinforce a curved bow with deflexes in it. A better plan might be to design the bow to not need the deflexes by selectively reinforcing it with various lengths of fiberglass rod. That's actually pretty cool looking at that, how it ballooned out. Yeah, the glass fibers definitely failed. But even so, look at that, it's not breaking. I have to really try hard to pull this thing apart. Okay, that's some evil stuff. So this is going straight into my uh, garbage can. And uh, thanks for watching. I wish the results had been a little bit different, but sort of expectable. Thanks again, YouTube. Thanks for watching.